Hello, everyone. I'm JK. I'll teach power electronics. Today, I'll introduce a common equivalent circuit for analysis of DC-DC converter. If you think what is DC-DC converter, you should learn it. After that, you can check this video. At first, this common equivalent circuit was proposed by Professor Elie in 1987. Since before my birth and even now, this theory is used by many researchers. Amazing is the word. Then, I'll show you how to draw the basic circuit and its rules for the common equivalent circuit. The basic circuit consists of diode, switch, and inductor. Here, the diode and the switch are arranged in vertical direction. The inductor which is connect with the diode and the switch is arranged in horizontal direction. The reason why we draw such way is because we want to put high voltage potential at high point. In this circuit, we assume that the inductor current is continuous every one switching period. In this case, the average of the inductor voltage becomes zero. Thus, we draw the inductor in horizontal direction. The right terminal voltages are VD, VS, and VSD, we call. Here, we consider the average voltages. And then, we set switching duty ratio as alpha. The relationship between VSD, VS, and VD is this one. In addition, sometimes the circuit has capacitors. In this case, the capacitors are arranged in vertical direction, up to here. How to draw the basic circuit and its rules for the common equivalent circuit. Do you understand it? Please remember it. Here, let me move to exercise. Some DC-DC converters draw again by the common equivalent circuit. Exercise 1. It is this DC-DC converter. The output voltage grow up from the input voltage. We call this circuit boost converter. Here, we assume the output voltage is constant. The output side redraws the terminal for easy understanding. Next, you can find the basic circuit. The basic circuit is here. In rule of drawing, the diode is arranged in vertical direction. The diode moves to upper. Finally, the inductor and the input voltage move to right side. You can finish drawing. You can understand where the input and output voltages are in this circuit. The input voltage is Vs and the output voltage is Vsd. As the result, the output voltage becomes 1 over 1 minus alpha times the input voltage. Next, exercise 2. It is this DC-DC converter. The output voltage grow down from the input voltage. We call this circuit buck converter. Here, we assume the output voltage is constant. The output side redraws the terminal for easy understanding. Next, you can find the basic circuit. The basic circuit is here. In rule of drawing, the switch is arranged in vertical direction. The switch moves to upper. You can understand where the input and output voltages are in this circuit. The input voltage is VSD and the output voltage is VD. As the result, the output voltage becomes alpha times the input voltage. In addition, I skip the detail, but this difficult circuit can be drawn by the common equivalent circuit. It is like this. We can calculate the ratio between the input and output voltages soon. Finally, I'll summarize this lecture. In the common equivalent circuit, the diode and the switch are arranged in vertical direction. Respectively, the voltage potential is up and down. The same potential is arranged in horizontal direction. I showed that the boost converter and the buck converter redraw by the common equivalent circuit. In addition, the difficult DC-DC converter can redraw by the common equivalent circuit too. This common equivalent circuit easily teaches the relationship between the input and output voltages for us. Then, this movie finishes. Thank you for your listening. Bye-bye.